there's something about jumping in a car, you know, the V8, and just romping on it. Just the exhaust, the sound, the feel. What's not to love about a car? My name is Pat Orth. I've uh, been with Speedway for 14 years now, and I'm a supervisor in the Customer Experience Center. It's a 1964 Impala. My dad was building a house for the guy. This was just sitting in his garage. It was this guy's drag car. That didn't mean anything to me when I was, you know, just out of high school, but I just knew that, hey, it's 64 Impala, that's, that's pretty cool. Right when I bought the car, I stripped the body down to bare metal, and then just slowly kept building my funds so I could buy everything at one time. So I waited 10, 12 years, had this big chunk of money, and then just went on a shopping spree, you know? <laughs> I made some tweaks to it, you know, got rid of the door handles. It's got one piece aftermarket bumpers, which cleans things up. I'm a wheels and tires guy. If you don't have the right set of wheels, it's not gonna make the car. Of course, the air ride gives it that stance to really uh, show off those wheels. But yeah, I just kept it pretty simple. You know, no power steering, no power brakes. Just a fun, easy car to drive is something I could rely on. To get this thing painted, I did a little swap on the engine plus some money. So I got the car painted, which was awesome, because that was something I didn't think I would ever be able to afford. It's a six liter out of like a 2002 Silverado. Basically stock, just with an LS6 cam, so still pretty mild. It scoots around pretty good for a family cruiser, <laughs> you know. But to be honest, what I didn't think was going to happen was the interior uh, is by far my favorite. I had a shop here in town do it, and basically I took the original interior and I said, here, can you replicate this in leather? And they did, and it, it turned out pretty good. This car actually finished up for my wedding. So I had to rush to get this done, make sure the paint got done, and then it was a good six month push to <laughs> really get it put together. Like I said, it sat around for 10, 12 years, and if it wasn't for that push for getting married, I might not be able to get to enjoy it like I do now. When I was a kid, my dad sold his truck, and I was like, I really love the idea of possibly someday that could have been my truck. So my three-year-old loves this car. I think this is uh, something I want to keep around for him. I just love driving. It's fun to drive something older. Just taking something that was torn down to something that somebody might not restore and just bringing another old car back to the road. I think meant a lot to me. 